Muddy ground to put down stone. To get to it, to get back to the work where it is, you would tear up something to get in there. You gotta get the stone back there. You gotta, you gotta get it back there. It can, it, why can't they be dirt? Why can't it be? My point is, it was dirt. He upgraded to gravel. It cost, we don't even know how much that's going to cost us yet. So even putting a five dollar, five thousand dollar cap on it doesn't matter if he is going to approve things that we have no clue how much it's going to cost on a project that's under budget, over budget. Look, if this was under budget and we thought it was going to be on budget, fine, upgrade all you want. But when we're already over budget and we're approving extra costs, but I have an issue with that. Mr. You're saying that he had to. It makes more sense to do it now versus later. Okay. Cost-wise, it makes more sense to do it now while we're in there doing the trails versus coming back in at a later date, tear, tearing up what they just put in in this park to put the trail in. If, if I could say one more thing, it's, it's, it is 11.15, we've been here since, what, 6.30? I started I think some folks... <laughs> we should probably come back to this. I think I can move on. Where are we with the um, and there are forms. Where is the motion? Made, I think we made a motion, Mr. Sesson. The five thousand dollars. Everyone say aye or nay. There was a second. We're in discussion. Okay. I can be done. Any further discussion? discussion? You want to say anything, Chris? Mm -hmm. Sarah, can you uh, give us that motion back? Um. Uh, Hamilton motion for Whitaker to notify the council of any additional expenses or charges and every modification for the approval for the Ben Bear Farms project for council to review. Seconded by Janelle, Clay stated that he felt accountability should be given to the manager and suggested an amount threshold of 5000 Hamilton accepted the amendment from Clay. And then uh, Whitaker stated he'll send every email to you and answer any questions that you have. Where it stands. I don't, I don't so, want every email. And so everyone, and so everyone having heard the motion, those in favor of the motion, please say aye. Aye. Okay, aye. I, I don't even know what those opposed to the motion? Aye. <coughs> Mary, so make sure the amendment is there for the 5K. Yeah. It is. Then I'm in favor. I'm in favor. I'm in favor. I'm in favor. I'm sorry. 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 i am the ayes have it, and the motion passes. <coughs> Item 13K, UDO text amendment needs. Ms. Devane. This is very easy. I just want to continue because we started cleaning the UDO up with um, what last fall, and I think we should continue this to complete the minor improvements and clarification improvements, um, any of the complex improvements, perhaps we might come up with some type of monthly schedule or every other month schedule to how, what, it, what is fitting into what we're doing each month is if we can add something else in there, but go ahead and get it cleaned up. That's all that I was about. I just don't want to drop it. We were working on it, and then it's been a while since we worked on it. That's Any it. other discussion on 13K? Is any motion required with that, Ms. Payne? No, sir. 13L, UDO tax amendment, that reference was, same corridor area overlay, Mr. Payne. That was me, and again, we had, um, I think this had been tabled a while back. I remember the planning board, the last time I think it was in front of the planning board, um, they ended up tabling some stuff because they couldn't come to a consensus on how to handle it. And I think we were kind of in the same uh, situation the last time we came to council. So I thought that perhaps we could um, take this up and um, move forward with how
how is it going to be different on 73, 220, Highway 220? Um, what are the next, I, my question is, I guess the planning, what are the next steps and how do we start working on this again? Sure. So I'll kind of go back. I'm sorry, Tim. I'll go back to 13. I, I, I don't know what the comes for now. I mean, okay. They group this in a little bit. Um, it was June or July. We had a meeting in July last year, so I guess it must have been June. It might have been August. Where I asked council at the time if we could schedule a work session to talk about 20 or so items for text amendments. Um, and we all know what happened in October, and since then I think we've all been, been out of whack on text amendments. Um, so I think 13L with the scene quarter overlay kind of got wrapped up in that. You'll see there uh, August 28th is the last planning board, which is where you address for Um We, Scott and I, brought this idea of a wooded view shed, an open view shed. Um, it admittedly didn't need more work, but we wanted the planning board to have in front of them to get some discussion. We sat there for quite a long time and I think came back with, when it's not ready yet, we'll come back to it in the future and then October 5th. Um, so, I, I'm more than happy to bring forward these text moments. Uh, new council members, text moments require a lot. So, um, is there any information we need? Do you remember at the moment? Um, not that you require. Not required? Okay, that's right, thank you. So, there's public hearing, planning board, public hearing, town council. A lot of ways in the paper with Sarah, so there's a lot of statutory things we need to take care of. And also, it take a long time. Um, when we get to these meetings, usually it's Scott and myself, or a member of the staff, even our attorneys, even PTRC, we go through a text amendment, get a lot of comments, and present it to planning board. And then planning board, we spend usually a long time with them, and they have their own comments. When we come from the council, you will have your own comments, which we do greatly appreciate to what you approve and what you like. All that being said, that's why we wanted the work session of, separate from a normal council meeting, you could have this meeting, talk about all these things, and not to say streamline, because we have to have public hearings still and have to have public input, but at least council and planning board can be satisfied with what staff is presenting at that time. So if someone from the public has a change, you can at least tackle that one to 300 changes they have in the public. So that's kind of why we haven't done anything since October 5th, but how to take it up again when the schedule is allowed, planning board and your schedule is hard to coordinate. So I'm happy to do that again. Okay. Did we have that, I may have suggested like a short report that um, we had What are we doing on the twenty the, the retreat on the twenty seventh? I think it's twenty seventh. Mm -hmm. yeah, Saturday that, is the twenty seventh. I think I put that on there. Is that a time or would it it would be better to do it at another day, its own day? I would so, say months from now for me personally. But sorry, Scott. Okay. So your roadmap for this is it until Q two? I'm not familiar with you two. When does that start? Uh, uh, under the term. Right? April 1st. That's actually third, that's third quarter for us. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. So we have 12 free zonings coming up next month. Um, and then wow. I've been talking with three or four other individuals, applicants that want to move the zonings too. So that's going to be a lot. And I don't usually like to schedule text amendments with free zonings, public hearings. It just makes them all night. But we can do what council wants. Okay. Well, let's wait. Like, let's get the 12 done first. I just didn't want it to, like, this uh, yes. you know, forget. Right. Okay. Did it write them out? Yes, sir. I'm 13 M, planning tech, enforcement officer position, Mr. Um, I just wanted to make sure, uh, I was going to get Scott to speak about that, just to make sure that the town knew. I had. So um, that we had hired this person, and um, they would, they didn't realize that this person had been hired, and I just wanted Scott to make sure if he could speak to that, um, since he does the hiring of that position, and um, so that the community knows what's out there. Uh, 
Yes, so Daniel Bayer uh, was hired uh, in November. Um, I don't have the exact date in front of me, but he was hired uh, kind of mid-November, and uh, you had asked about uh, what he would be enforcing, and so I included in your packet this uh, planning tech enforcement officer opportunity. Um, this is the ad at the time. And so that gives the details of his, those bulleted items or his uh, expected task. And um, go ahead to answer any questions about it. Uh, is it? You're your The reason I, somebody mentioned that to me, so I, I wasn't aware of it. Because I had seen somewhere. I'm not a supervisor. Uh, no, I had seen somewhere where we, we shouldn't hire family folks. That's where someone was telling me about it. So. Yeah, so sure. I'll be glad to address that. So, I'm not trying. To, I'm definitely not trying to kick. I'm just. It's been yeah, it, it's not a violation of our uh, our personnel policy. Um, what the policy says is that if you uh, that is discouraged, and that if uh, if an immediate family member is um, desired by the manager to be hired, uh, then the manager will make that known to council, and so. I can I can give you a long detailed you, list of that you, process, but did you make it known? Absolutely. I not only made it known, I had the I, I really took it a step beyond what the policy requires and I had the majority uh, approval of that. Not not that you would normally be a, not that you would ever be approving the, my hiring of anyone, but this was kind of a unique situation and that it was a immediate family member. And so very careful about the process. Um, uh, at, at first, he had a really, he had a really good interview. Uh, but I, I just like to say, I had nothing to do with it. I didn't. <laughs> That's true. I did not know. He, the only reason he even knew, he came to see me at work because his company closed and he needed, ironically, he needed to fax something for an appointment. <laughs> And he said, what is that empty desk right there? And I said, well, we've had an open position for two years. And he said, well, I'm going to apply for it. And I said, the, so the, the position has been open for two years? Mm -hmm. So when this position came open, or when, when he was interviewed in the summer, um, uh, at the time, council was kind of split on uh, what they thought about hiring an immediate family member, even though there was no supervisory role there, and that's the that's the core of any kind of nepotism or family member policies when you, when you look at other jurisdictions. And um, and also uh, there was an election coming up, and I uh, didn't want any anybody to have any uh, claims of nepotism there on the manager's part. I just didn't want any part of that. And so at the time. Uh, uh, made the deliberate decision not to hire him. Uh, he asked if he could volunteer to learn more about the planning department. So he spent, uh, over the course of a few months, over 200 hours uh, volunteering in the planning department. And uh, at that time, uh, re I reconsidered it uh, based on the lack of other applicants. Um, brought it forward to council at the time, and there was a little bit of shift in their thinking that Hayes' position's been open for a long time, he's got that many hours of um, direct training by the town. So, um, anyway, there's more to that answer. I won't get into all the details of it, but the gist is that it's not a violation of policy. It was well vetted, uh, that was my decision. Okay, any other discussion of 13 p.m.? Will he be able to take this call tonight again at 11 30 at night about the hobbies? Um, we could forward it to him by text, but he, we don't expect him to be uh, uh, actively dealing with calls at 11 o'clock at night. I just have two questions. Um, sure. How many applicants did we get to this position? Two years. Oh, I don't know. We probably had. Um, I don't know if it was quite two years, but we, we had, I don't know, maybe a dozen applicants. I'm not sure without looking back. I didn't count them. But uh, we had a few interview, interviews that didn't go anywhere. Um, you know, part of the challenge is, is from anybody out of state um, or, or out of town mm -hmm. 
being able to pay them at that salary range to be able to live in Summerfield, that's always a, a challenge. Yeah, this year, right? you know that well, I, live, I live three and a half miles away, so he doesn't, yeah, I live here. <laughs> I live in Eckridge. So, so the, and the point there is about the area, it's not about corporate so limits. Okay, I think that's what we say, say so where do we, where do we post? Uh, we post in um, with the league. Uh, we advertise with them. And we post on our website. Uh, we talk to uh, make it share the ad with PTRC and uh, just try to get the word out. There's a, there's a shortage of planning. The planning list. Are uh, okay. You planning the boys. Yes, no, we we we've not had good experiences with that. What happened with um, the contract one that we had before? How can we didn't do that again? Uh, we moved away from that because uh, it it just overall wasn't that effective. What we were the, the money we were spending and paying their company to for them to drive here out of town just wasn't really effective because we just couldn't get consistency of. Uh, okay, I'm going to come back out there. We, we didn't contract enough hours to, to make it worthwhile uh, because, for instance, you have a complaint and they couldn't follow up on it in three days because they weren't coming back for two weeks. <laughs> so, yeah, we, we moved past that sometime ago. Any other discussion on item M of section 13? Move on to section 13, item N. Any reports, updates, or comments from anyone? I know some things, but I don't know if I need to bring up now or under other. Is it business or is it a report, update, or comment? It's business, I guess. I would do that. Other. Oh, other? Okay. You don't even know what I'm going to say. No, I, I'm Where in tune you? with you, Jill. <laughs> Any other reports, updates, or comments? If we get to the next section and you tell me it had to be under N, we're going back. There's always next month. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the right uh, answer for Jim. <laughs> uh, as a comment, I would just say uh, I know that this might be new to some folks. Uh, I would encourage you to note here we have a place here, item N, which appears on every agenda for reports, updates, or comments. And it, I'm no longer really working on the agenda. I'm, I'm consulted and I have input, but uh, I see so many things coming on the agenda. Uh, but I would encourage you that if you're going to put something on the agenda, work with Scott, and so uh, everyone has something besides a blank piece of paper to prepare to know what's coming up, to be able to even call the person adding it and saying, hey, I'm just wondering what's up with that, what's going on. Uh, otherwise, if you're not going to give anyone any input on it, just wait and bring it up under reports, updates, or comments. Uh, I would also encourage you, if you're going to ask for an update from uh, in, any of the staff, you know, uh, common courtesy would say just to drop them an email, uh, give them a call and say, hey, you know, uh, I'm going to be asking you about this in case you want to gather your information, get your stuff together. Uh, I'm going to ask this to town council meeting just, just so folks have opportunity and time to prepare. Um, so I would just make that comment, suggestion. I think that's reasonable. And Mr. Whitaker, how, how much notice do you need before we put some on the agenda? Uh, well, it, it depends. Good question. It depends on the topic. If, if, it's, if it's something simple that's just going to take a little here, include this document, I'd like to talk about item A. Um, just by noon, the, the Monday before is the deadline. So for this, this, you know, if it hadn't been a holiday, it would have been a, last Monday by noon is the deadline for topics. But think about the complexity of what you're going to be talking about. If, if it's something that's going to require staff to do a little digging or drafting of something, uh, we need more heads up than that. So. Does that help? Yes. Okay. Thank you for the comment. Appreciate that. Item number 14, other business. Mr. Robinson, do you have some other business? Um, I have addressed something in an email and I 
don't know that I ever really got an answer, but I would like to ask for updates from Brad and Scott, weekly updates on Fridays. Um, I liked a couple times when we got the Friday, the weekly manager updates. I thought that was really helpful. Um, and I would also like to ask for that from Brad every Friday. What is that? So we would get an update. A couple times we got an email from Scott, and it was just a, like an update on the Manager's updates. Manager's updates, like things that had happened that week, things he was working on that week. Um, I thought it was really helpful to be in the well, loop and know what was happening. Well, I think we could ask uh, Mr. Whitaker uh, for any information okay. from Mr. Renz. We need to ask Mr. Whitaker to provide that information. Yeah, that's fine. So however it wants to happen, I would like to a weekly update from Brad, via Brad or via Scott, I don't care, but I would like to know when um, rezoning applications are turned in, um, variants, all those different, I don't want to find out, I, I, don't, I don't like to find out from other websites or other people and they ask me, hey, what's this about? And I have not even heard of it. I would like to know about things happening in the, as they, I would like a weekly update. So if there's no business, do you just want a weekly update and no applications received this week? Is that so rezoning, I mean what else would we want? Like anything that ends up going to a hearing or a sign anything that the sign like because when a sign gets put out in public, then people start asking. And if I don't know about it, it's frustrating. So yeah, anything it's that a sign goes up for or there's a meeting for. So Variances you all hear, but you want notice of those? So, I, so we know about it when people ask us. Okay. So is that just variant? Do signs only go up or meetings for variances and rezonings? Variances, variance. And hearing, well. Yeah. Special use permits. So yeah. anything where a sign goes up, I would like to know about it when it happens. <coughs> and before it goes on the calendar. So. Can you guys just agree, Mr. Whitaker, can you agree to provide that? We can do that. Work so with your staff. If, if we do that project thing that we talked mm -hmm. about, mm -hmm. will that take mm -hmm. care of some of this? It, kind of it, it won't it. take, it, that's more about projects and initiatives from our understanding, but this, this is more about um, planning applications and submissions, which is not going to be on that list at all because okay. You know, these come in, I, I don't even know about, I don't, and I don't want to know about some of these things until they're far enough along to schedule a notice and get them on the calendar. So those type of planning things that she's referencing would not be on that list. Okay. And this list we talked about the, the, the sort of project dashboard? Yeah. And you yeah. are working on that? Yeah, we've got a good bit of that. We're, the goal is to have that something for the retreat. Okay. If I'm offering my time and services, I'm very familiar with that. So if you need okay. some feedback or any support or help, I'm offering it to you. All right, thank you. Any other business? Uh, items, Mayor? Okay. Okay. Kind of uh, ironic we're talking about agenda, and I know that this week was, was you know, new for town council, we had kind of a holiday week. Um, I just to let you know, I, I could not find the council um, 